So I always uh, wanted to do a Facebook, uh, instead of a Facebook Live, a uh, YouTube video, right? But I always wondered, what am I going to talk about? What uh, What is it going to be interesting enough to uh, get an audience, uh, to capture an audience, right? I mean, I do a lot of interesting stuff, but stuff that interests everybody, right? So um, I'm talking to my neighbor. He's uh, building a shed back there, right? So... I'm like, let me see what what this guy is using as the floor, the bottom, because I have a system for that, right? Not everybody knows about it. It's relatively new. So I go over there. I talk to him. He's like, no, I'm gonna do wood. I said, like, oh, okay, wood, okay. So I'm like, okay. So he needs to buy the wood, do the uh, pay pay the wood, pay the labor, and the time that it takes to build the floor, probably. Like two days between cutting, measuring, and then installing and all that stuff, right? So it's going to cost him like two days of labor and the wood and then all the, all the um, you know, uh, scrap that he's going to have and all that stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, I can, let me talk to him about this uh, system. It's it's a soil confinement system. Um, it's called mechanical concrete. It's a soil confinement system. You take the square footage, you measure it, you send it to the company. They give you a, a quote on how many cylinders you need. And then you use the aggregate you want. Stones, uh, um, crusher run, uh, milling, uh, whatever whatever, um, as, uh, whatever aggregate you want to use, right? So so when you combine the aggregate, right, instead of using a, a, a compactment, uh, it's, it's a big difference. So let me let me give you a good analogy about it. When you go to the beach, you you want to make some sand castle. So you put sand inside a cup and you compact it, right? And then you flip it. So when you take the cup away, that is compacted, it stays there, right? Until pr pressure is applied. But it's from water that comes or you step on it, right? And you just crushes out it just breaks out but then if you take that same sand and keep it inside the cup you can apply pressure to it because it's confined it's not gonna have, go nowhere right the water can come and the, the you can you can just step on it and nothing will happen because it's confined inside a cylinder so that cup would hold a certain amount of pressure because it's made it out of plastic but imagine a cylinder that it holds up to 200 psi. Why? See that right there? It, it's an in, incredible uh, strength. So that's why I offer him mechanical concrete, and uh, and he never heard of it. It's permeable because water flows through. It's a it's a cylinder. Water uh, falls on top. Gravity brings it down and just flows through. Right? It's made out of tires, recycled tires. Obviously, you know the strength that the manufacturing of, of tires uh, require. So when you uh, take the sidewalls off, you promote the permeability. Because if you lay the sidewalls off, that's where water gets stuck and um, and bring mosquitoes, humidity, and water gets stuck. So uh, when you cut the sidewalls off, you just have a cylinder. Water just flows through. On 200 psi, it holds, and then you can use it as column too. So this is my first video. If you guys like it. Comment and uh, comment and sh and uh, like and and ask questions and, and I, I'm maybe I post another one. Thank you guys.